My name is Irvin, also known as Copperman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about top 20 network administrator interview questions and answers. And of course, if you're a fan of my channel, you already know that I have the best video on top 20 network administrator interview questions and answers on entire YouTube, and I'll certainly prove that for you. Um, however, this is a written version, an article written version of the same video. So, yeah, if, so if you're interested, you can certainly read about it and follow along, and I have the video embedded itself within this article, right? So again, this is located at CosmicNova.com and the link will be you know, supplied in the description box below. So you can go there CosmicNova.com and just scroll down if you will. And of course, this is the one of my most popular articles on here as well, not just the video itself. And if you scroll down, you can see that it's right there. But also if you go to the Information Technology tab, you can certainly find this specific um, article and the video within it and also any other uh, topics. I think I, there it is. Here we go. Top 20 network administrator questions. And of course, I got, uh, let's see here, top 20 system administrator interview questions and answers if you're interested in that. And I got top 20 desktop support interview questions and answers. Also, all very popular on my YouTube channel. And here, let me just go ahead and prove that to you that, that this is the case indeed. So if I just go to YouTube and I don't even have to look for my own um, the channel name, I can just do a search for top 20 network administrator questions. And I guarantee you this will be the top, the very top and the best. Um, video on YouTube when related to this topic. So let's go ahead and do a voice search. Top 20 network administrator interview questions and answers. Actually, let's let's do let's be even less specific. Let's just do network administrator interview questions and answers. So that way I can show it to you that this is the best. Network administrator interview questions and answers. Okay, and there you have it. The very top, the very top video on YouTube is my video and has 140, 142,000 views for the right reasons because this is the best video. And if you don't believe me, just select that video and go to and go to the comments and look at all the all the thousands of people that I helped get this job, right? So just go and go go there real quick, and I'll just go and pause the video here so it doesn't play over my voice. But if you want to watch it, you know, feel free to do so. Um, you won't be the only one, for sure. So let's go ahead and look at the comments, you know. These are some of the best comments that I've ever, ever, and I helped so many people, as you can see here. Like, the most recent one is from John Detris here. Just nailed my interview for Network Operations Center position with this switch, and I have no bachelor degree, but four years of experience and several certs. And because of this video, you know, basically, you know, and you're welcome. This is amazing. I get these, I get these... Uh, comments all the time and this is just great so let's go ahead and go back real quick so we can um kind of go through some of these um uh, a couple of these um questions and answers together so we can just kind of get an idea of what i'm talking about and what the point is of this article why did i make this article on top of the video itself because so you can follow along and this is what we're going to do exactly here, right? So if you want, you, you can go there. And again, the link is going to be in the description. You can go to this article and play this video like so, right? And as it goes, and as it goes, of course, it's going to be my voice, you know, reading the questions, reading the answers. And all the answers, of course, are, um, in, you know, answered in such manner so it's easy to understand. This is why my video is so popular, right? It's easy to understand and easy to follow but at the, now you can play it at the same time as reading it you know as reading it here at your own leisure right so if you go through question number one or number two or whatever you can pause the video right up here you know pause the video and then go back to it and read it for yourself and yes the video itself has the you know the the questions and answers written out in that same order but some people like to take even more time to memorize this much easier right so that's the point of this article to provide this information so let's go ahead and look a couple of examples just random examples of what you can expect in this video um, let, let's see here uh, question number eight right question number eight what is DHCP right DHCP stands for dynamic host configuration protocol the main function of DHCP is to handle distribution of IP addresses on a network right so um, and, and let me just go ahead and read the whole thing and then I'll explain it to you IP address assigned by DHCP server are dynamic meaning they are released they are leased and released dynamically right to explain it further if you connect a PC to a network it will get a least IP address and if you disconnect 
or move the PC, it will be assigned a different one. You see how these questions, or how these uh, ex the questions and how the answers are explained in such manner, you can understand exactly what I'm talking about, right? So DHCP, in, in the nutshell, as it's explained here, is basically um, leases or uh, distributes IP addresses to all of the computers that are connected to this network, and they're assigned dynamically, right? Meaning that they're, uh, they can be random um, IP addresses that are available, right? And they can change. Those IP addresses can change. So if you move the computer somewhere else, the, the address might change, right? So then that's why it means dynamic. So let's just go to scroll down a little bit more. Here's another one, number 14. Um, can you name different types of network cables? So these are some of the most common cables, right? Cat5 runs at um, 100 uh, megabits a second maximum. So we got Cat5, and we got Cat5 E is actually is a little typo. I'll have to fix that too. Cat's Cat 5E, uh, and it runs up to one gigabits a second. And we got Cat 6 can run up to 10 gigabits um, a second connection speed. Right? All cables are limited to 100 meters distance in order to run at optimum speed. So these are some of the simple questions that um, you can go through. And if you if you're interested in network administration, you can certainly get a um, you know, you can certainly get this job, especially if you have some experience. That certainly helps. But in some cases, as you've seen, as you've as you've seen through the comments there, some people may even get this job without experience. You just have to study for it. And this is why I made these, this video, made this article, so you guys can, so you guys can benefit from this. And I've already helped so many thousands of people all over, all over the world, all over the world. All right, guys. Again, link to this is going to be in the description box below. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Good luck to you. Bye-bye.